What is up everybody and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. I'm Middleman Gaming and let's get back into the game. So as we was walking around, we didn't really find a lot in the last episode. But a souvenir we from the Hong stuff. Kong Stock Exchange. Worthy of note. In this episode. Human logic is beyond me. What's the point in doing that? Human logic is beyond me. What's the point in doing that? Hmm. I'd rather not know how much that's worth. Nice collection. Working for us has its advantages. Can you move? Nice collection. Working for us has its advantages. There's some swanky old coins. He's quite the collector. It's uh, Jason Moore. Another old coin. Lydia and June at the beach. Full of Vida. These are Jason Moore's archives. Where are you? You didn't answer my call. I left you a message. We need you tonight. Let me know. Need files. Jason, I've been asking for files that you shouldn't have. They should have sent a week ago. I don't know what's going on, but send them over. Heavy jet charters for a Boston Hong Kong trip, Thursday, September 5th. Was he planning on running away from something? To be fair, yeah, the, the scenery is pretty pretty. Like it's not amazing, it's not making me go wow, but that just might be because I'm lower settings because my laptop's a little old. That might be the archives in that door there. Well then. Hmm. I should put some money on that. Officer Baker, Hello, can I help you? Were you the first person to arrive at the scene of the crime? Yes, sir. My partner and I were the first to get here. Just tell me about it. We got the call around 2.20. The caretaker had called because a resident was injured. It took us about 20 minutes to get here. The poor guy was in a panic. He told us he'd seen one of the tenants, Jason Moore, enter the building, and he looked hurt. He was being held up by his two bodyguards, and he was bleeding a lot. Did he see the wound? Yeah, he said the victim was holding his right hip. So I went upstairs with the caretaker. We saw blood in the elevator and on the landing. I rang the doorbell, but nobody answered. So the caretaker opened the door. I identified myself. There were traces of blood leading down the hall away from the entrance. And just after that, I uh, found the decapitated body. Did your partner come with you? No, he stayed in the foyer to secure the entrance to the building. Did you touch the body? No, there was nothing I could do to help him, so I uh, secured the scene. I put my gloves on to take his ID out of his jacket pocket so we could identify him. 
Then I called it in. What about the caretaker? Where was the caretaker during that time? I told him not to come inside, but he followed me. When he saw the corpse, he was really shaken. He wouldn't let go of me. Then what did you do? I called for backup. They told me that forensics would get here as soon as they could. They were out at another case. That was their top priority. After that? I secured the entrance to the apartment. Hmm. After that, I searched the ground floor. There was nobody around. But from the looks of things, somebody searched the apartment. When Sergeant Lehane got here, she took care of upstairs. It's a good thing, too, because it took everyone else another 15 minutes to get here. She didn't find anyone there. So there's no sign of the family, then? Nothing. The place is empty. Seems like you've got some kind of mine. Do we know where the mole was coming from? I'm gonna boost it up a little bit and we'll do that. Success. That's it? Oh yeah, the guys in the parking lot said they saw one of Moore's cars leave after he came home. Hey, do you think the wife was in cahoots with one of the bodyguards to get rid of the husband? I'm listening. Well, a lot of times in cases like these, it's the spouse who did it. What if the wife was having an affair with one of the bodyguards? She packs up her and her daughter's stuff while her lover lures the husband into a trap somewhere. For some reason, things don't go according to plan. He comes home injured and figures out what's going on. He attacks his wife, and the bodyguard kills him to protect her with whatever he happens to find. Makes sense, doesn't it? Not bad. Keep digging, Baker. Hmm. All about the what if so. It was my greatest pleasure before. Now everything tastes like ashes. Now about magnetic key. Increase your technology royalty for the next interaction. Try this room here. Safe zone. Dijan's file is not the most active method of your prodigy. He's also not very interested in counting either, so he lets me manage his small fortune as I see fit. He regularly comes to uh, comes to me to lend, launder the money he receives from his numerous deals and occult objects. As the amounts are relatively insignificant, it's never been a problem for me. After relying on your generosity for a long time, he's now amassed enough money to get by on his own, despite his erratic financial habits. For this reason, I recommend that you save a substantial amount of money by ceasing your contribu uh, contributions to him. Of course, if this is that means to ensure his loyalty or let you be the judge of whether or not this is a good idea. It's a Sierka, uh, is what we call in the business a cash cow. Though he describes himself as a collector, he spends his money freely on things that are important to him without any real consideration for the profits he could derive from them. In addition to the occult activities, occult objects, and ancient works that are rather difficult to transport discreetly, he's particularly fond of acquiring the instruments of the musicians he admires, and jazz legends. He isn't much of a negotiator, and although I repeatedly offer to do, have professionals help him negotiate the best terms, for some reason he prefers to do it himself. He sees me as a simple accountant, though this is not to his advantage. 
I believe he doesn't like people like me. I do know that he regularly asked me to invest in voodoo groups in Louisiana. At complete loss, I tried to dissuade him. He seems to be bent on continuing this way. Uh, you will find a complete list of operations attached. Dijon, are you making plans in case things go south? Or are you planning to leave us? I'd like to draw to your attention to the fact that Mr. Sierra uh, recently invested in property in his asylum, Salem, apartments, warehouse, garages, the same type of properties and sizes as the property currently owns in Boston. It would appear that he intends to establish a secondary residence. An auction. Acquisition of Lot 87, Dejan Siaka. Hmm. Siaka. Trumpet okay. belonging to Don Ellis. We need Hilda, Jara, and Mr. Richard. Dr. Richard Dunham's. Go down this way now. Nobody told me there would be a retainer here. Major of the old gold. Ugh, what a mess. Fortress security catalog. They install highly secure rooms. So, safe in a wall, secret passage, hidden weapon, weapon rack, and hidden panic room. The retainer. What are you playing at? Oh, I, I beg your pardon? Don't mess with me. Who are you? Calm down, Mr. Bazori. I meant no disrespect. I work for the council. Why would the council have sent her without warning me? Most of the time they send me to clean up. Are you behind this? No. I got here after it happened. What's that file you've got? Oh, an account file. Have it. Here you go. Okay. Hmm. Let's right. see how much she knows. All right. What have you found? Oh, I'm a little embarrassed. I'm not really allowed to talk about my missions. I want what she found. Why she share that? Attempt to dominate her. Get in. I don't have time for this. Give me what you have. Uh, what I've got. Of course, sir. Here. That's everything. You made the right choice. Tell me exactly what they asked you to do. I got a message at 2.20 telling me to go to this address. I was supposed to pick up more and some financial documents. After that, I was supposed to wait for further instructions. Try again. Don't think I'll be lucky. Maybe I will be. Read the message you received. Target Jason Moore. Address 200 Clarendon Street, top floor. Exfiltrate target if possible. Otherwise, final elimination. Destroy Katapata's files. Complete mission for further instructions. If I had gotten to more before you did... I would have had to take him out. Well, you could have tried. Well... I hope I'm not going to have any trouble. You're going to leave. Go. 
got them. But there's no point in having two of us here. You're going to go home now. Very well, Mr. Bazori. I'll finish up and head out. Not failed yet, she said yes. Oh. Which may be a problem. I might have to deal with shortly. But that's at least another one down. Hmm. I'd rather not know how much that's worth. Okay, sure. June in Costa Rica. I was a rich family. Interesting. Where would I keep my safe? Find anything? Nothing yet. Hurry up. We need something, guys. A bathroom with a shower and a tub. June's father spoils her. Somebody slept here. Jason, Lydia, and June. A little family all together. And in large format. Jason, 
proud of his family and his success. <laughs> June, who looks more like Jason than Lydia. Lydia, radiant and beaming. His MIT class ring, right where you can't miss it. The same one I saw on the body. Is that ring going to end up being important? Don't let you steal it off his body. It seems like gardening is a real passion for Lydia. Not sure Jason shares your enthusiasm. Fortress security. Search your valuable personal belongings in Portland type once and it's a 15 point locking system. High grade steel. Without visible hinges. Designed to conceal the moment you exit for you in perfect accordance with your interior. And sliding panels use hydraulic technology that completely silent. <coughs> Equipped with additional storage room at the outlet and the 8 point lock. For your safety and all of your loved ones, consider the hidden weapon rack is within reach of you, but not your children to ensure your safety in any room. Mm. Gusset mark can see panels slide in now using totally hot uh, style and hydraulic technology, also comes in waterproof of bathrooms. Protect your large personal belongings, as well as your loved ones in the event of serious danger. Features all of our patented systems. Offers a comfortable but survival space to keep four people safe under any circumstances. Searching here was looking for something specific. Sorry, Agent Smith, but I'm a little busy right now. 
Kurz über. Disinfectant, obviously handled by someone who was bleeding. The concept of a laundry basket seems too abstract for some people. Thank you all for joining me. I've been Little Man Game and this has been Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. I will see you all in the next one. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>